and things to do. Very fun. Boys, all sorts of things of interest and fun for girls and boys. Hello, operator. Hello. Hmm. What's up? Shh, listen. I got hooked in on another line. Hans, this is our greatest spy work. I am a secret government plant where they invent special paint that makes things invisible almost. It's camouflage paint. Yeah, it sounds good, but how do we get it? They have God. We use you as decoy. You make him chase you. I bop him on head when back is turned and ha 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 ha. That's all. Be there. Yeah, boy. Golly, that was Dr. Ludwig von Up and Hans Hoff. Oh, those international no goodness. What government plant could they mean? Could be the paint plant on the edge of town that's doing secret work for the Signal Corps. Well, let's go and stop them. Uh, that, that decoy thing. Yeah, uh, what's a decoy? And what's camo... Cam camo... Camouflage. Yeah, what's that? Oh, camouflage, like the army. Right, and as in nature. You see, Mother Nature, the animal and plant world, are the great teachers of camouflage. In the marshes and woodlands, birds, all kinds are among some of the best camouflage artists. The coloring of so many birds is speckled and streaked and differently colored so that if the bird is in its natural surroundings, it's hard to spot because it's hard to see against a background of bushes and flowers and shrubs and marsh reeds and grasses. In the spring, after the birds and waterfowl have flown north, you have to be very sharp-eyed to see their nest that they build and very quiet. So you don't scare them away. But if you just sit quietly and watch, you'll spot all kinds of different species. And it's fun to get to know them and identify them. Well, anyhow, they're camouflaged. Or as they say, they have protective coloring to keep their natural enemies from seeing them too easily. This is nature's way of helping animal life. And the birds are given instincts that help save the breed too. With some kind of ducks, when danger threatens the nest and the young birds, why the mother bird flies off, playing like she's injured. She pretends she can't run or fly very well, so that the enemy will chase her and not notice the little birds in the nest. The mother bird is being a decoy. Isn't that brave of her? Nature's law. The first thing is to preserve the species. Gee, if you keep your eyes open and really take some time to watch nature all around you, you can learn a lot. And it's interesting. About the most interesting thing in the world. Here we are. Yeah, and look! Oh, the poor guard. They must be inside. Right. We fight them better if them outside. Get good chance to fight Indian style. Yeah, how can we get them outside? With a decoy. Oh. Violet! Come back here. Oh, I can't look! Nya, 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 nya. Dr. Von Up couldn't catch me. Ah, oh, Hans, look! That little shrinker! And now... She can't run so fast when she's shrinking. <laughs> now. And I'll just cool him off. Look! Harry! No! You must have used that secret camouflage paint. And now they're invisible. All right. Then they're all right. <laughs> oh, Hans, I can't see you, but do those arrows hurt you too? Yeah, but only when I laugh. Oh! <laughs> Hope you liked our show, and we'll be back as we 